Actions speak louder than words. Pro-cannabis law reformists are said to be buoyed by the planned milestone decriminalization of the possession of 30 grams of cannabis through the scheduled amendment this week of the Drugs Prevention and Misuse Bill. The deputy leader for the National Green Party and former president for the Ayanola Council for the Advancement of Rastafari, Aaron Alexander, has welcomed news of this development on the eve of a landmark sitting of parliament. The process was started by the former United Workers Party administration and it seems the Labour Party will not play political football with such an issue. Hence, they will move the process forward at tomorrow's sitting of the House. Members of the House are set on Tuesday to debate the bill at the first working meeting of Parliament since the Philip J. Pierre administration assumed office in July. The law will be amended to allow the possession of a quantity of cannabis or cannabis resin from 15 grams to 30 grams. The legislation will exempt criminal liability for possession of less than 30 grams. According to reports, the legislative changes are part of a raft of grand overtures, including the repeal of statutes enacted over the past year, which some critics considered too draconian. The bill has also triggered calls for an apology to the Rastafarian community for whom cannabis is a religious sacrament. If this happens, we will say bravo, well done. We also fervently hope that there will be a formal and sincere apology to the Rastafari community whom have endured the brunt of the prohibition law for over 50 years. The incarceration, the destruction of our families and communities, the seizing of our properties, the jail time, the exorbitant fees imposed on us for possession of small quantities of cannabis, even the killing of our members of our community. Alexander wants the religious use of cannabis by Rastafarians to be upheld. ICA and its affiliates were in the process of filing a constitutional motion against the state over the use of the herb on religious grounds. At this point, we do not know where this position now adopted by the government will leave our constitutional claim, which is before the High Courts, concerning the cannabis issue. Notwithstanding that, we welcome such a move by the government. Finally, I offer an apology to the St. Lucia Labour Party when I said on a platform that a vote for the SLP would be a vote against cannabis. The actions being taken by this SLP government process will prove me wrong. The amendment also includes provisions for cases involving juvenile offenders, as well as drug treatment programs, ostensibly for marijuana misuse disorder. Despite the revision, the new law will restrict the smoking of cannabis in public. Sulaj Alfred, HTS News Force.